In this lesson, you will learn how to use linear interpolation to find values not listed in a given table of data. Now linear interpolation is a kind of intimidating word, but all it means is we're going to learn how to approximate. So interpolation is the same thing as approximation or approximating. Now before we begin learning how to approximate values not listed in a given table of data, we first need a little preliminary knowledge. So there's two types of problems you need to know how to solve in order to do linear interpolation. So I'm going to show you four examples with one type of problem and then three examples with the other type and then you're going to use that information to then put it together to learn how to approximate. So the first thing you need to know is to answer questions like this. And the question here is what number is half of the way between 40 and 50? Now I think we can tell pretty quickly the answer should be 45. 45 is halfway between 40 and 50. But the process I want you to get the hang of is maybe not as intuitive, but it's going to help us when it comes to approximating. What we want to do is we want to determine how far is the gap between the two numbers that we are dealing with. So the gap between 40 and 50 you find by subtracting the two numbers. 50 minus 40 would be 10. So the question is, what is one half of that gap? What is one half of 10? So one half times 10 is going to be 5. And that 5 is what we're adding to the lowest number, the first number, the 40, to get to your solution. Take 40 plus that 5 to get 45. So this one was pretty obvious without going through all of this complicated process, but I'm going to show you a couple more examples where it increases in difficulty each time. So the next one is what number is one half of the way between 10 and 60? Well doing the process I just showed you, you begin by finding the gap. What is the gap between 10 and 60? Well if I take 60 minus 10, my gap would be 50. So the question is what is one half of that gap of 50? So one half times 50 is 25 and that is what I add to this first number, the 10. So 10 plus 25 is 35, and that is my solution. That is one half of the way between 10 and 60. Now here's another one. What is one fourth of the way between 22 and 46? Well, I take the gap between 22 and 46 by subtracting the two numbers, and that's gonna be 24. And then I take that value and multiply by one fourth. What is one fourth of that gap? So one fourth of 24 is going to be 6. So I add 6 to that first number, the 22, and 22 plus 6 gives me 28. Now, one other question we have what number is two thirds of the way between 15 and 42? Well, I find the gap first. So I subtract 42 minus 15 to get 27. And then 2 thirds of 27, you take 2 thirds times 27. When I multiply, I have 27 over 1. So I can take the 3 down here, cancel with the 27 up here, to get 9 over 1. So 2 times 9 would give me 18. So 18 is what I add to this number 15 to get my solution of 33. So this is the first kind of question you need to know how to answer. The second question is kind of going backwards and it's asking you how far between two numbers is another number. So here we're asked how far between 50 and 60 is the number 55. Well, still the same process to an extent. I need to figure out what is the gap between 50 and 60. So the gap is going to be 10, which I find by subtracting 60 minus 50. And then the question is how far into the gap is 55? So starting at 50, how far do I have to go to get to 55? Well, I have to go 5 into the gap. 50 plus 5 gives me 55. So I go 5 into that gap. 5 is a distance past 50. And so how far between 50 and 60 is 55? Well, I take 5 divided by the gap of 10, which is going to be 1 half. Let me walk you through two more examples where the difficulty will increase a little bit. Next question is how far between 50 and 60 is number 58? 
Well, same thing, I need to find the gap between 50 and 60 by subtracting 60 minus 50 to get 10. And then I ask how far past 50 is 58? So I take 58 minus 50 to get 8. 58 is 8 past 50. And then I take 8 divided by 10, the distance past 50 divided by the gap, 8 divided by 10 will give me my solution of 4 fifths. Okay, one more example. The question is, how far between 30 and 48 is the number 42? So once again, I find the gap between 30 and 48 by subtracting 48 minus 30 to get 18. And then I see how far past 30 is 42. So 42 minus 30 gives me 12. And I take 12 divided by the gap of 18. That can reduce, and I get my solution of 2 over 3. So if you can do both of those type of questions, where the first type you're trying to figure out um, you know, what number is halfway or a third of the way between two other numbers, and then the other way how far between two numbers is a third number, all we do is put those two concepts together and we have linear interpolation. So here's our first example where we put everything together. And the first question asks, what is the approximate population in 1956? So here we see a table with the years given to us going every 10 years, and the population over in the right column, and the population is in millions. Now we can tell very quickly that the year 1956 is not on this table. Well, we need to approximate the population given the information that we've just covered putting those two concepts together. So the first question we ask is how far between 1950 and 1960 is the year 1956? Well, the gap between 1950 and 1960 is 10 years. And the year 1956 is how far into that gap? Well, we go from 1950, we have to add six years to get to 1956. So distance into the gap is six years. So if I take six divided by the 10, I'm gonna get my solution of three fifths for the first part. So 1956 is three fifths of the way between 1950 and 1960. So the question is, what number is three fifths of the way between 116 and 133? Well, the gap here we find by subtracting the two numbers, 133 minus 116 to get 17. And then the question is, what is 3 fifths of 17? So 3 fifths times 17 would give you 51 over 5, which would be 10.2. So 10.2 past 116 would be my solution. I take the 10.2, add it to 116, and I get 126.2. And we can round to the nearest whole number because in the table everything is to the nearest whole number. So we can round this to 126 million people. And always double check your solution, make sure it makes sense. Is it falling between 116 and 133? Well yes it is. And it should be closer to the 133 than it is the 116, which again, it would be. So 126 million would be your solution. Let's try one more going back the other direction. And the question is, find what year the population was 140 million. So 140 is between 133 and 145. But the question is, what fraction of the way is it between those two numbers? So we need to find the gap, first of all. So the gap here, you subtract 145 minus 133, and we're gonna get 12. And then 140 is how far into that gap? So starting at 133, we have to add seven. And so we're seven into the gap, so we're 7 twelfths of the way between 133 and 145. So the question then is what year is 7 twelfths of the way between 1960 and 1970. 
So to find that, we find the gap over there. The gap is 10 over there. And then we find what is 7 twelfths of 10. So 7 twelfths times 10, or 10 over 1, would give you, let's see, 10 divided by 12, you get 5 over 6. So 35 over 6, which gives me what, 5, and then 5, 6, or 5.83 repeating. So 5.83, add that to 1960, and that's going to be my solution. So I get 1965.8, which would approximate to 1966. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.